Marketers have always had great customer insights and data, and they don't oftentimes know what to do with it. But you can now merge social and behavioral and um, transactional data and put it together and actually derive insights on what customers are really thinking and feeling. Based on the combination of those three, you can get some emotions from some of the social data, you can get their actions from behavioral data and transactional data. And by putting those together, you can find trigger points which will really get, engage their emotions. And so shifting the storytelling from an, a, a, an abstract to what really means something to them gets them more engaged. And so we talk about a little bit more personalized storytelling. When you're engaged with digital, you can actually customize messaging based on where they are and what they're trying to do. There has to be an emotional trigger involved. It has to have a beginning and an end. The typical sort of journey of a you know, person going through a transition or something going through a transition so you see the beginning and the end. And, and really having that nugget of insight or information that is going to make it compelling. And so if you put all those things together, a story, something that tugs on the emotion, and then also is driven from an insight of something they really care about, that makes a much more compelling story to actually get your customers engaged. I think obviously consumer products has sort of come out of the gate running. There's this idea around movement marketing, which is not only telling a story, but, but elevating the message to a story bigger than the brand itself by creating a movement. And then you can tie to you know, those stories, your own stories. And so movements can be around social issues, they could be around empowerment. Um, and so the consumer products industry does a great job. Any of the industries that have a proliferation of comp highly competitive views need to sort of take storytelling to the next level. Insurance is a great one. You've seen tons of commercials around insurance companies telling different stories. And that's because it's highly competitive and they really need to cut through the noise. For me, the future of storytelling and marketing, I'm fascinated by the intersection between the offline, the online, and the whole experience between the two. So we're seeing more and more organizations not only try and tell a digital story, which is you know, two-dimensional, but are actually creating the augmented reality and virtual reality that helps to translate that to a three-dimensional storytelling. And so come, and, and you think about it, you can go into a store and some organizations have digital walls where you can sort of engage with the product and maybe see holograms of sort of different views of different things or the virtual trying on. That's part of the storytelling that if you actually can put that into your stories and put the people in the story as opposed to being told the story, that's to me where the next generation of storytelling is going.